I just want to kind of do a reptile products that I regret buying. Products that just didn't work for me and my needs in particular with the reptiles that I currently have. Right here is kind of an overview of some of the products that I love and the ones that I don't love so much. So, hope you enjoy, and uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and thumbs up this video. This is a product that I definitely don't like, and it's also actually a product that I definitely don't recommend. Over time, the, the paint uh, fades and it chips. The suction cup, is it, it bends, there's like a nail in there, and it actually pokes out. Over time, it just wears down and gets really, really, really nasty and possibly unsafe. Here we have some New Zealand sphagnum moss and some Fluker's green moss. Um, I originally got these to put in some humid hides for my leopard geckos, but then I graduated on up to just paper towels. They're much more sanitary. And here is an Exoterra spray bottle. The, the lid doesn't exactly, as you can see, it, 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 it's screwed on tight, but it's still crooked, and when, when this thing is filled up with water, it, the lid just falls right off, and the bottom falls off, and water just goes everywhere. I've had much better luck with just going to the dollar store and getting a dollar spray bottle. Those work great. Here you can see some Zilla vegetable mix. I could just buy fresh bok choy or fresh peas or fresh, you know, vegetables. This stuff is pretty expensive and it doesn't last very long. Kind of smells weird. Um, and my bearded dragon really likes it, but I feel like it's kind of more junk food considering he could just eat some fresh veggies, fruits, and fresh bugs. And plus it's freeze dry. I don't think that's very good for their digestive tract over a long period of time. And here we have some Fluker's orange cubes. These just dry out way too fast. I would recommend um, the Fluker's gel water. That's kind of golden. Here I have some Tetrafauna Aquasafe. I like the RepiSafe a lot better than the Aquasafe because the RepiSafe has um, electrolytes um, as well as uh, calcium. And here I have Wipeout 1, and this stuff only kills Salmonella, and Salmonella I'm not so much worried about as I am about, like, internal parasites. Check out beardeddragon.co for some better disinfectants. So now I'm going to talk about some products that I do like. So these are some of the products that I just really, really like and that I really recommend. Um, Ryu is going to help. <laughs> But, um, so I just recently bought these, I've never had any before, but I got them to feed my turtle some super worms and crickets and things like that because she just totally want, you know, wants to bite your fingers off. Um, turtle bones, I've mentioned them in other videos, I definitely recommend them. Um, they're really good, a really good source of calcium for turtles as well as tortoises. Um, the Repti Shedding Aid, I love this stuff, <clears throat> it's awesome, this is a new pack, this is a, this is an old, old batch bought. Um, I'm out of it, so I had to buy some new Repti Shedding Aid, but it's really awesome. It doesn't have an odor or a scent or anything, but I think it really helps with um, moisturizing reptile skin. And it's good for any kind of reptile, not just snakes, so I use it for my bearded dragon. And he's in shed, I usually uh, spray it on him after I give him a soak. And then the Vital Vita Shell is awesome stuff uh, for turtles and tortoises. Um, I think I mentioned it in other videos as well, um, but it's just really good for the shell and moisturizing it, making the shell more flexible, and in turn helping to prevent any infections that would happen in the shell. And then I just bought this stuff. Um, and it's a like a flexible wand type of thing and I was going to use it to clean out my filter intake tubes and stuff for my canister filter so whatever kind of product you use to do that I definitely recommend this if you have a canister filter because it's going to make your life a lot much, so much easier I haven't had one before I've been struggling with getting algae and stuff out of my intake so this should work good and then this stuff is really really good to help kind of jump start your biological um, filtration in your in your turtle or fish tank, you know, whichever. It's the Safe Start Plus. It just has, you know, um, Nitrosomonas, Nitrosomus, you know, different types of beneficial bacteria that are going to greatly benefit your the health of your aquarium. 
So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. You know, I hope that this informed some of you about, you know, what to expect out of different products. I'm sure you guys mostly, you know, know all that. So um, if you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.